Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 10 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to do the second floor. Now we're gonna continue working on this. And one of the things that I'm gonna add first is the floor for the second floor. So let's go to level two. And then here, go to architecture and then click on floor and then here let's add in another floor so edit type duplicate this will be floor number four edit here thickness will be 200 again and then let's change this material so I'm going to add a wood material for this so here I'm going to select here and then I'm going to use Oak Flooring Expresso. Click Apply, and then OK, and then OK. And then now, I'm going to click it from the inside. So I'm going to use my pick line. And then similar to that, I'm going to add it all the way around. In this instance, um, we're going to add something here like a balcony so we're going to edit this one as well so for now let's just finish this and then it's easier to edit this later on so here i'm just going to use tr that's trim and extend so we're just going to extend those and trim it at the same time. Okay, so now I think we're good. I'm just going to click on finish. And then let's look at it at 3D. And as you can see, this is the look that we have. If you notice, there is some walls that are sticking above. What you can do is you can just select those and then you can click attach top to base and then select the floor and then it will go down and as you can see you won't see that anymore right there. So those are the cleanups that you need to do. So only if you're going to do the inside of the model. But here it's something that I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create another floor for the balcony. So let's go back to level 2 and then I'm planning to add balconies right here and also right here so only two areas here I'm just gonna leave it like this for now so now I'm gonna click on floor again edit type duplicate this will be number five and then here I'm just gonna leave it this one for the material and then here I'm just going to add the floor right about here and then click finish and I want to see it in 3d I want to see if there's like cap or sticking around so here I could just edit this align AL and then I'm going to align it on this wall on this corner so let's look at it right here instead AL align it to here and then align it to here So 
so now this is looking good uh, we could even extend it a little bit so that it covers right here as well and also on this so I'm just gonna edit that and then let's go here so I'm gonna add right here align this trim this trim this as well and then here same thing I believe we need to add it from here and then this is we need to remove that and then let's look at it in 3d this one was too was over so we could just pull that back align it from here so that's looking good now at least we cover that um, what we can also do is actually we could just I could just create something here later on um, I'm probably gonna extend this more so I could just remove this and then align this all together So now it's looking like that. So we have a balcony here, and then we could just edit this one later on. I'll probably just move this one right here. But I'm still thinking of if I want to extend it or not. And then here, on this side, we could just add in the same floor and then connect it. Make it 1000. That's looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to wall, drop down, and here we have a reveal. I'm gonna make it a vertical reveal and then we could edit this. Let's check the profile. At least one brick. Click apply, okay. And then I want to add a separation here. And then another one. And then I just want them to align. So that looks good. I was able to align it. So I just want the separation there. Because what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to make this one a different um, finish so I need to look at it here because I want it to be aligned here so I'm just gonna align it right there and then go back here and then align this one as well on this side so AL align it here onto this face and to this face there we go so that's a line now and then here I'm going to make this window smaller And 
this one as well. In terms of height, I want to pull it like this. And then I'm going to align them so that they have the same height. And then if this one we don't need it to be all the way because we're not planning to add anything here so I'm just gonna leave it like that and then I'll probably have a different look here So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set different materials right here, and also, instead of this one, I want the separation, I'm going to pull this one out. I just want it to be all the way right here so I'm gonna align it and then trim this one and then remove the remaining right here click finish and then in terms of here I just want it to be extended so I'm gonna extend it from here then here as well trim this and then trim this so now at least everything is proper like that Let's save this and then let's add in the railing. So I'm going to add a railing right here. And this, this railing is going to go right about here. And then another railing for this side. look at it at 3D so we could just change this I want to change both of this to a rectangle that looks cleaner so now I'm ready to add material so here I'm just going to go to modify and then click on paint for this instant I want steel so I'm going to add this one as steel okay so now this is steel and then here I'm going to change it to wood and then steel again then this one is steel as well and then here we just need to so steel polish is what we added now here on this part we just need to split face so we need to use this and then select the face and then here we just need to add this line 
and then click finish so in some instance it's not saying it's not saying because the face region because we have a a reveal here but if I so let's change this in consistent color this is the look for the steel so if I paint this again it will paint the whole thing again but the issue right now is I want to select this in order for me to cut this one but it's not letting me so this is a problem so let me figure that out later um, now here I want this one to be wood so I'm gonna do the same thing and add a reveal here same thing and then add another one below and then go to level 2 and then align it right here and then AL again there we go I want here to be wood so let's go back here click on wood I have a soft lumber here I'm gonna select this one a soft lumber changing it to realistic so that I could see and then here probably a different wood or different steel I'm gonna use this one right here no, not that one. I want something that is noticeable. So that when I add it, I can determine that I did it correctly. So that's why I'm changing it to this. So, still carbon. and then the same problem with this it's not it's not letting you cut it but if you do this now this is cut if we just do it a little bit just a little bit on this the edge It will not be noticeable and then now if we click on paint there we go just a tiny part of that it's like that so I'm gonna do the same right here I know it's irritating but what can we do so here click on split face and then add this just a tiny line on the edge just to split this and then let's do it below
finish and then now we could select steel polish on this side as well it's good what I'm gonna do is let's add a model in place generic model and then here let's go to south elevation and then we're gonna cover this up so extrusion pick a plane which is this wall and then we're just going to add this right there Another 200 to trim and extend, then just delete this small part. Let's look at it at 3D. And obviously we're gonna change the material as well it's not gonna be grass but I just want to see it first let's change this one now let's use this iron dock that looks nice and then here let's click on paint and then look for gypsum wallboard and then we're gonna paint this side in this above here just to paint that one and then here we could just extend this one a little bit I want the sides here or the inside here to be wood so I'm gonna edit that and then go to paint and I want to make sure that I want to set this one to plywood click finish and then here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to South Elevation again click model in place generic model and then exclusion and then set this wall and then I'm going to add something that lo looks like this click finish and then let's look at it at 3D first and then edit again change the material metal panel and 
click finish. So this is looking good right now. We have different materials. So we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.